Hello everybody and welcome to Mr. Stansfield's education videos. Today we're taking a look at actions and this is part two of a setup video for a specific action that you can follow along from the Adobe CC blog. That's where I'm going to actually navigate right now and I wanted to really highlight that there is really detailed instructions on how to do this here on the Creative Cloud blog. You can find it and follow along and just go through it. They've got videos and instructions, written instructions. They're really great. What I wanted to do though is actually highlight a few things that maybe for real beginner users of Photoshop you may have never done before and this instructional maybe glosses over. So I'm going to take you through a couple of things here. I've highlighted step two because that's going to be the step that we kind of start on for today. So to start with, let's go to Photoshop and we're going to go File, Browse in Bridge. Now Bridge is the file browser for Photoshop and it's a, you know, the, the, the attached kind of way, the, the Adobe CC way to navigate to pictures and open them in Photoshop. So if I just double click the photo that I want to use, here it is in Photoshop from Bridge. It's, it's easily openable that way. So I would recommend doing that. I just wanted to give a shout out to my friend Katie Brogan who took this portrait and I did pull up their website here, broganphotography.com. Check it out. Thanks, Katie. Um, and let's go back to Photoshop here. And by the way, I'm using a shortcut key. On a Mac, it's the command and then tab key to switch between open programs like this, going back and forth really quickly. Um, it's a nice and quick way of, of navigating around programs without having like one little window here and one little window here and going back and forth. So this is the image that I want to use, and for this particular action, it fits the action. It's a little goofy, um, it's a little silly, it's a little loud. Um, of course, uh, that's not always the persona that I have, but it is for this particular action the persona that I'm trying to convey. So if you're looking for a, a good picture, I would encourage you to pick a picture that's positive and fun and silly. Um, it kind of matches the look that's going to happen when we're done with this. So let's go back to the browser here, look at step two. Step two says that we need to set the area of the image that the action will focus on. And what that means really is Photoshop doesn't automatically know, or rather the action doesn't automatically know exactly where the edges of a person's face, shoulders, etc., where they begin and the background begins, that separation of space. So we need to manually set that. And there's a couple of things that you may or may not have used before in Photoshop in order to make that distinction. Here is the process. And again, you can follow it step by step if you'd like on the Adobe um, Creative Cloud blog, but I'm going to go through it too here. What I want to do is make a new um, layer. And so first I need to know where is the layers palette? Well, if I don't have it, I can go to window and then layers. I can click on it. You can see that the check mark is next to it. So the layers palette is open for me already. And down here in the very bottom right, next to the trash can, is the option to make a new layer. I'm going to click on that, make a new layer. You can see layer one pops up here above the background layer. I'm going to go ahead and rename that by double clicking on the text, layer one, and then I'm just going to start typing. And this needs to be named focus, all lowercase. It's important for the action to run because the action knows to look for a layer called focus. And so we need to rename the layer focus or it won't work. The next thing I'm going to do is clicking on this layer, I'm going to get the brush tool and the brush tool is right here. And if I click and hold, I can see there are other tools under it. I'm going to click on the brush tool and I'm going to go ahead and select white down here in my color picker. I can also go up to here to the color and here the foreground color is set to black and the background color is set to white. Now there's a cool shortcut key on a Mac or on a PC uh, as well. In Photoshop, if I hit the X key, it'll flip the foreground and the background colors. All right. I want to paint with white, with the paintbrush, and I want that to cover all of me. Well, that paintbrush is really small. So what do we do? We make it bigger. Here is one of several ways that you could do that. You go up here and change the size, make it bigger. And you can see the circle gets bigger. So this works a little bit better. Now, it's a soft edge. You can see the edge of the brush is a little bit soft. Well, that's up here under hardness. The hardness is set to zero. For this particular thing, I would recommend actually somewhere in the 90 to 100% range. I'm going to choose 95. So you can see that the edge of the brush now is harder, which is what we want. 
basically what I'm going to do here is paint over, and again, I'm on my focus layer over here. I don't want to select the background layer. I want to select the focus layer. And I'm going to go around and I'm going to paint. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but we want it to be pretty good all the way around like so. And I want to fill everything that is the focus, which is the person in this case because it's a portrait. Now this is going to take a while, so can we speed it up? Is there a better way? And the answer is yes. When you have a picture like this, now what I'm going to do is actually delete this focus layer and start over. Watch this. I'm going to drag it down to the trash can in the layers palette, and then I'm going to make another new layer, and I'm going to rename it focus. So if you have a background that's fairly different from your subject, like it is here, it's all that white brick behind me, and everything else has a color, it's nice. Um, it's a nice contrast. The contrast will allow us to make a selection and then fill the selection. So this is, you know, if you wanted to use a brush, great. However, there might be an easier way. Watch this. I'm going to go ahead and grab a selection tool up here. Quick selection, that might be a, a, a good choice. So what I'm going to do is um, select subject up here. Now, if you're working with Adobe CC, the latest version after 2020, 2021, you're going to see another option over here, and that's subject select. In this case, select subject is under the quick selection. So I'm going to go ahead and select subject, and this automatically creates a selection for the most prominent objects in the image. So we're going to go ahead and, 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 and run that, and click around in the subject. Uh, that went away. Um, oh, we are on the focus layer. So in order to run a selection, you actually have to go back, select the background layer, and that way it'll actually see what we're looking at here. So I'm going to go ahead and click, and it selected everything. So that's not working super well. Select, deselect. There you go. Now it's working. So I'm just going to click and drag around, make a selection. And I'm going to look carefully. I want to get my ear in there. The hair is pretty good. It's doing a pretty good job here of making the selection and keeping that contrast in there. So with the subject select and or the quick selection, that's what I'm doing to get the selection. Once I have a selection that I'm happy with, I'm going to go to Select, Modify, and I'm going to feather it just a little bit, just a few pixels. I'm going to choose three pixels, and what that's going to do, it's going to soften the edge a little bit, and it'll make this next step go a little bit better. Now I'm going to select my focus layer, and I'm going to fill it. So Edit, Fill, or Shift F5 is the shortcut key, and I'm going to fill not with contents aware, but with white. So I want to make sure the contents is white, 100% of opacity in normal mode. I'm going to click OK. Now it has filled that selection with white. So I have created in probably less time than it took to use the paintbrush a very accurate um, painting over the area that I want the subject to focus on for the action. The last step is to go up here to select and then deselect, and I'll deselect that. And we can see over here that the focus layer, if I, if I turn this little eyeball off next to the background, I can see that this layer, this focus layer, is exactly what I want. And I haven't destroyed anything in the background. If I turn the eyeball off on the focus layer, I can see I still have my photo back here. So I click both on, and now I'm ready to run the action. So that's what I'm gonna do. If I go over here to my actions, I click on Tune Artist, and I hit play, it's going to take a while. So this is going to take a few minutes to run. It's a fairly complicated and involved action. This is a fairly new MacBook Pro, and it's a pretty powerful laptop, and it's probably going to take this, uh, take t uh, this is probably going to take um, more than a minute, maybe two or three or four minutes. Depending on your machine, it may take a while. So I'm going to stop the video here, and then I'll do a part three on what to do um, with the uh, file after the action is done running.